Hey, I'm Josh Fralick and with Team JP, and today we're talking about traveling with your guns. So there are lots of folks that shoot a lot of local matches around the country that would love to come out to the big major match, but uh, I hear a lot of grumbling about they're nervous about travel, okay? And I understand the concern, right? When I was first starting to travel for major matches, I had the same concerns. And so what we're gonna do today is spend a little time talking through guns, gear, how to get through the airport uh, without any trouble. Yeah, and it's really no big deal. So let's just talk through it and we'll get you comfortable. So I bring two carry-on bags like we're allowed and I have two check bags when I travel with guns. So we'll talk through what's in the bags and how I make it all work. So I carry a backpack on the plane and this backpack has all of the things that I need that aren't actual gun parts. Can't have any gun parts in a carry-on bag. So like my shooting bags or my binoculars or my ear pro, eye pro, things like that that keep me safe on the range, but they're not gun parts, right? I carry my PC in here and any extra clothes, things like that that I might need, those types of things as well. The second carry-on bag I have is, just think about it if you were traveling with family, right? No guns, gear, or anything of the type. And this is your other carry-on, and we can just get this out of the way right now, right? So we've got a couple of carry-ons, and those are the things that are all non-gun related. You're bringing those on the plane, okay? So no guns, no gear, none of that stuff in your carry-ons. Beyond that, I've got two check bags. And in my check bags, I've got a gun check bag and I've got a gear check bag. So just think about it like that, guns and gear, okay? That's the way I do it. And in my gear check bag, I bring my gun belt. And some people, uh, you're allowed to technically have your gun belt on your carry-on. I choose not to because it would fit on the outside and then I'd get a bunch of questions or funny looks in the airport and I don't want questions or funny looks in the airport. So I put my gun belt in my check bag and I don't worry about it the whole time I travel. Beyond that, you know, I've got my extra shoes and magazines, right? Magazines and gear. So, and a little bit of ammo too, right? You can have a little bit of ammo in your check bag provided it's not with your guns. And so I bring a little bit of ammo. I bring my range bag just the way that I'd carry it out on the range packed up in my gear with all my mags, my bipods, things like that that actually attach to the gun go in the check bag. So beyond that, we're talking about guns, right? The last bag that I bring on that I check is guns. And when I get up to the uh, ticket counter, or I get up to special services uh, with the airline that I'm traveling with, I let them know right out of the gate. Uh, I, I have to declare unloaded firearms. You're gonna wanna say it just like that. I'm here to declare I've got unloaded firearms. They're not loaded, they're unloaded firearms in my locked case, okay? So I just say I got unloaded firearms, I need to declare it, and they know what to do. It's not a big deal. These, these folks deal with folks like us traveling with firearms all day long, and so it's not a big deal. But what is important is that we follow all of their rules, okay? So I travel with a hard case that has multiple uh, connections, right? You can see I've got a six latch Hard case, six isn't required, but the idea is simply that if you unlatched one of them, you wouldn't be able to pry it open. That's the criteria. And then it's got multiple slots for locks. You can see I've got multiple holes for locks in this, and each slot that's got a hole in it uh, needs a lock in it, okay? And I use non-TSA locks, meaning I use standard padlocks that require TSA to come and get me if they want to go in my gun case to uh, dig a little further to, to see what I've all got going on in there. Simply so that uh, I know that I'm available and am watching when they're in and looking through my guns, okay? I want to make sure that the guns get to where I'm going the same way that I packed them, okay? That's, that's why I do it that way. Uh, and then I've got pistol in here, right? So packed right along with my long guns. And then you'll see many of these hard cases, they come with foam or they come with inserts and things like that. Well, you're allowed 50 pounds traditionally on your check bags. And so with my gear at the weight that I travel with, you know, I run heavier guns. Uh, if I get pistol, rifle and shotgun all in this hard case, I am at 51 pounds. So I squeak by, right? And so uh, I actually just remove all the foam 
and I run my three gun bag inside of this hard shell case without any foam insert and that kind of thing just to make sure I get in with the weight requirement. Pretty straightforward. You get to TSA, you let them know you've got unloaded firearms and they will let you know what to do next. No ammo in your carry-on, ammo and gun gear go in your other check bag. It's actually pretty simple and I would just tell you it's not a big deal, okay? Uh, TSA deals with it all day long. So this is how I travel to go to a three gun match or any competition shooting event. Four bags, two check bags, two carry-ons, and I can get anything I need with me through the airport and onto the mat.